everyone, how are you doing? Long time no see. It's been a while since I made a video, I'm sorry about that. I have a video for you today. I actually have one, woo! And this is one that I haven't made yet and I should have made it a long time ago. Say a long time ago, like a couple of months ago and I never did and I am making it now. A couple of months ago I went to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in the theatre and it was so good. It was so good. We bought tickets to see this two years ago. So we'd been waiting a very, very long time to see this. I had read the script. It's, um, it's up there on my shelf. I don't know where to start with this. Um, I just want to cover something before I begin. I'm not going to give away any spoilers in this. Um, I'm just going to talk about kind of my day and how I felt and um, briefly cover a couple of bits that I really liked um, but yet again no spoilers. Also um, because of some really bizarre circumstances and a very very long story that I'm not going to get into in this video because I'll be here forever. I actually went to see this twice. I saw it once with the original cast and once with the cast that are currently performing at the moment. So I don't want to get too much into cast because I don't want to be comparing and saying this person was better than this person. But all I'll say is that the current cast are amazing. They are so, so good, so well cast. The original cast was amazing as well. So if you're going to see the new cast but you haven't seen the original one, don't be disheartened because the current cast are really, really good at the parts. Bit about the day before I start. I met all my friends in London. This was kind of like big university reunion, even though we've had about six of these already but oh well another big university reunion and we all went out for breakfast and it was like really nice day um we just found this place i don't know what the place is called but i don't think you care about that so we had breakfast it was really nice and then we went and if you're going to see it get to the theater an hour before you need an hour to get through everything you need to get through but it's fine it really is um so we got there an hour before the show started went and picked up the tickets um, and then we queued up to get in. The queue was all the way around the theatre, so we joined back. And then the staff, when we got there, from the security guys checking bags to the people tearing the tickets, let you into the theatre, everyone was so enthusiastic about their job and about the play as well. We were talking to the staff there and they were asking us things like, oh, what house are you in? And, um, when we came back to see part two, they were like, oh, what's your favourite parts at the moment? And we were chatting about them. We were even chatting to the security guys about it. Uh, so it was really nice. They really added to the experience. So I want to say like a big thank you to the theatre staff because they were like absolutely superb. We walked in and the theatre is like, it looks like Hogwarts. It's these huge marble, I think it's marble, some sort of staircase but like these huge staircases and there's like these bits, um, if you go to the stalls, we weren't in the stalls but we went to the bar in the stalls, um, if you go down to the stalls the doorway's like hidden with big red velvet curtains and it's all really beautifully designed, both the exterior and the interior and it is like you're stepping into Hogwarts going in to see the play. We ran all the way upstairs because we were sitting right up at the very top so I ran and ran. I never run so this was a first for me. But I ran and ran and we sat down and actually the seats we got were balcony seats so we paid like 30 quid for them or something. But the seats we had were pretty good especially for some of the scenes in the play where I do think it's better to watch them from far away because then you get the whole effect rather than sort of being really zoned into one area of the stage. The actors throughout both casts were phenomenal, they played the part so well. I know this has been said time and time again um, but I'm going to say it anyway. With any play, any play you go and see, the script 
is not the play. It's sort of the backbone. It's not even the skeleton, it's just the backbone part of the play. Um, you need it, it's really important, but it doesn't make up everything about the play. Having said that, personally, I liked the story. Yeah, there are plot holes, and yeah, there are some ridiculous moments, and yada yada yada, those things are there. But, I look at Cursed Child like I look at Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, those films. Like I look at the studio tours, the Wizarding World in Florida, all these things, I look at Cursed Child in the same way. I see Philosopher's Stone to Deathly Hallows as Harry Potter. These are the seven books, this is the Harry Potter series that I know and love and will treasure forever and ever. Cursed Child is something that has enabled us to dive back into the world. But also there are moments in Cursed Child where I think there are certain scenes, without giving away spoilers, there are certain scenes where I really, even reading it and seeing it in the theatre, I just thought like wow that's what Harry Potter is about. That's why so many people love it and I really got those moments in the play. Throughout the play I really, really felt for Harry. I felt for Harry so much. After everything that's happened to him I just want him to be okay and you could see he was like on the edge for the whole play and ah, uh, I just felt so bad for him. I know I said I wouldn't compare casts and I'm not comparing. I would just say one thing. The original Harry, there are a couple of moments but especially there was one moment towards the end of the play where he played Harry with such vulnerability. It was like flashing back and looking at 10 year old Harry again. I really liked that sort of element that he gave to that Harry, how even though he's grown up as physically as a person, he's still Harry, he's still scared. Like Harry's brave but he's not fearless, <laughs> you know, he still gets scared, he still needs people there to help him. And the magic, oh, the magic was so well put together. It's like, magic is real, magic is real. There's a couple of things that I thought, okay, I sort of know how they've done that. But there are a few things I still have not got a clue. There's one particular moment, I was talking to my friends afterwards and I was saying, okay, good, it's not my eyes. There was genuinely something happened there. <laughs> like, what, how, how did we do that? Uh, it's just, but, uh, 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 I'm just, uh, I haven't got words. Also, there's some really, really strong choreography, like choreography and lighting and music all put together. Music is fantastic. I'm just rambling here. I'm really trying not to spoil this. I know tickets are expensive, um, and I know I'm really, really lucky to have seen this twice. Um, just couldn't believe my luck, really, being able to do that. But there are ways to get tickets that aren't too much like breaking the bank. You just kind of have to be very, very persistent and be able to sort of be a bit flexible with when you're going to see it and what seats you want. People do return tickets and they do get put back on the website. I better wrap this video up now because it's like 20 minutes long. I hope you enjoyed my ramblings about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. If you have seen the show, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. It's really good to make another video again. I need to continue making videos because I've really missed this. I hope you're well and I'll see you next time. Bye!